feel the power. I said I feel the power. <laughs> Woo! One thing I know is that God is neither broken in heart and the contrite in spirit. When you've been baptized in pain, you can't help but rise in power. When you've been baptized in pain, you can't help but rise in power. The way the anointing on my life is set up, it's comeback season. All year long. Been through the fire, been through the blood, been through the rain. Mm. I walk through the pain. Yes. And still I reign. Still I reign. I am the comeback queen. There is something about the fiery furnace of affliction that transforms you from the inside out. You will never be able to experience the depth, the breadth, the width, and the height of God's love without fire. Fire does what cold winds could never touch. Fire creates a new level of intimacy. I'm not talking natural intimacy. I'm talking spiritual. Fire births in you an empathy. It drops the scales of complacency off your eyes. And it allows you to look through the lens of compassion and to see people the way God envisions. When you walk through fire, <laughs> that's when you truly come alive. Fear not the fire, because many are the afflictions of the righteous, and God delivers us from them all. Somebody needs to see what the transformative work of God's word does. Been through the fire, been through the flood, been through the rain. I, I walk through the pain, yes, and still I reign. Still I reign because I know that there is nothing that can separate me from the love of God. Not death, nor life, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. <laughs> I've been baptized in pain and I rise in power. Set your affections on things above and not on things beneath. Because he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Been through the fire, been through the flood, been through the rain. Ha! I walk through the pain. And yes, still I rain. It's comeback season. Rise up.